Hello, everybody. Everybody out there, I know you're out there being great somewhere. I want to share with you some good stuff that I read that I listened to on YouTube today by the great Jim Rohn. And for if you want to check it out yourself, too, uh, the video was called Jim Rohn's The Laws of Success. Let me share with you some main points that he, 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 he gave in that video. He said, he started by saying, you have to recognize that the whole world the earth is, is governed by laws. He said there's math laws, there's elect, laws of electricity, there's laws of gravity, there's laws, laws of agriculture. There's just laws that are here that we have to follow. And he said that it's very important that the earth, that we know that the earth, the planet, is set up a certain way. So it's important that we learn the setup of the planet. He says, we didn't set it up, but we do have to learn the setup. Two reasons why he says you have to learn, we have to learn the setup. Number one, we have to keep, it keeps us from, from harming ourselves or, or being harmed or being in danger. Number two, for benefit. He called that the plus of life. So like, we have to learn the setup, the way things work. He said, you know what? We don't have to like the setup, and we really can't do anything about the setup. I'm not asking you to like it, but we have to learn it so that we know how to navigate ourselves in the setup of the way things are. He said he gave an example. He said, if this big monstrous thing was in a field and it hovered into the air and it and it and it smashed down and it shook the earth. And then two months from now, it, it, it rose up again and it smashed down and shook the earth. And then you notice it was doing that every two months. He said it might help you to recognize the pattern of this thing rising and falling so that you're not under it when it does it again. It's kind of like what he was saying about, about this life. We have to recognize the setup. He says we have to learn to get on the good side of the way things are set up. He gave two laws to finish out, two laws to finish out this speech. He said there's something called the law of use. And he says whatever we don't use, we lose. Let me repeat that. The law of use. Whatever we don't use in life, we lose. That could be talent. That could be ability. That could be uh, compassion. It could be the ability to use our legs, the ability to run, the ability to walk, the ability to the am ambition. That could be talents that we're giving. Anything that we don't use, we lose. He gave an example. He said, tie your arm up to your body and don't, and don't use it for five years. Just keep it still without... He says, you'll never use it again. And the second rule he gave was called the law of sowing and reaping. And he says, we all know how that goes, right? We reap what we sow, right? And he says, it was summed up to him by his mentor, Mr. Schof. He said, whatever you reap on earth is a result, a direct result of what you've sowed. So this is what he was talking about in his laws of success. He gave two laws too. He gave the law of use, which says either use it or you'll lose it. And that could mean a lot of different, that could be a lot of different things. And number two, the law of sowing and reaping. And you, we all know that what we reap, what we sow. So if you're not sowing anything, we can't really expect to reap anything. Once again, these were the words and thoughts of Jim Rohn uh, in his video on YouTube called The Laws of Success. Hope you enjoyed this. Also, check out his, his video, too, to, to really get in depth on what he was thinking about. Thanks for listening and be successful.